You're welcome. See ya. What have I told you about talking to strangers? Did you see her, mate? She was a stunner. What she want? She's looking for Rapper Street, or so she says. That was just an excuse to come and talk to me. Oh, I. No, I mean it. She was stood dead close to me with a street finder, fluttering her eyelashes at me. You are more loved up than a busload of Happy Mondays fans. Ah, uh, what can I say, Stubbsy? All these gorgeous women, and only one of me. I've created a monster. I got the rest of this stuff loaded. I still don't see why we have to work on Good Friday. Because I promised I'd get the job done while there's no kids at the school. Yeah, well, I'm not going down that cellar again. It took me two hours to scrub that muck off me back. Surely there's women queuing round the block for the privilege of scrubbing your back. <laughs> that was quick. When you rang half an hour ago. Well, we aim to please. We aim to go off for the weekend. That you leak your rod? Yes. Um, I expected Charlie to come round. Well, what I do? You'll do very well if you're up to the job. Oh, well, I'm uh, more than capable, me. Right. Well, you'd better get down to it, then, hadn't you? Right. Uh... Cup of coffee? Please. So... Times like this, I miss having a man about the place. Oh, you've got your nick. Martin's round the corner. Hopeless, the pair of them. But don't tell him I said so. Uh, right, it should be fine now. I bled the others just in case. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Any time. Well, drink your coffee. So, how are things with you and Candice? Yeah, OK. Bet she has to keep a close eye on you. How do you mean? <laughs> Good-looking lad like you. Bet you've got all the girls after you. Yeah, well, you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> no, I mean it. I like older... <laughs> what are you doing? So... You thought what? Are you teasing me? Jason! Well, I thought you were chatting me up. Jason, I'm old enough to be your mother. Yeah, well, thanks for the coffee. Any more problems, just, uh, give us a call, eh? Bye. All right there, Jase. How'd you get on with Mrs. Platt? Saw her out. Actually, uh, there was a bit of a misunderstanding. Oh, I what happened? She acted like she was really up for it. Came to the front door in just a silky dressing gown and... Oh, no. You didn't. Say you didn't. The weirdest thing happened, ma'am. I still can't believe it. Oh, come on. Do I really need a blow-by-blow -blow account of you getting your radiator fixed? He made a pass at me. Ooh. Jason. He did not. Well, I can't believe it either. I mean, we were chatting, like you do, and I mentioned what a good-looking lad he was, and he said, you're not so bad yourself. He never. Then he said he liked older women and took hold of me. Sweetheart, have you been having hot flushes? No, ma'am. Ma are you sure? Because these things do creep up, you know. Ma'am, imagining young men fancy it is not a symptom of the menopause. Well, just plain wishful thinking, then. Ma'am, I was mortified. He's a young lad. Candice's his boyfriend. Well, you ought to put the flags out. Ma'am. No, I mean it. I mean, if you've got lads like Jason after you, well, you must be doing somewhat right. Or something wrong. Giving off the wrong signals. Well, I'll not answer the door in my dressing gown again. <gasps> oh, do you know, something like that happened to me to make my week. <laughs> well, you can laugh. I doubt Candice would see the funny side. Oh, no, no, that's true. Although, if anything goes wrong with my plumbing, I'll know to ring. <laughs> Look, if it's about Friday, I am really, really sorry. Sorry is not good enough. Not on this occasion. I found the whole experience highly traumatic. I'm thinking of suing. Oh, come on, you're a misunderstanding. You can't sue us. Can she? Furman Glasgow had a carpenter. Couldn't keep his hands to himself. Ended up forking out millions. I'm sure the Weatherfield Gazette would be very interested in my story. Make the front page, I'd say. Single women beware. Randy Builder on the rampage. I'm asking you, Mrs Platt, please don't go to papers. I'm not. That's the good news. Obviously, I can't afford any more damage to my reputation. What do you mean by that? Right. I'll leave you to it then, Mr Stubbs. 
Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. And I can't apologise enough for what's happened. As long as it doesn't happen again. Oh, it won't. I know what I did was really stupid, Charlie. I know that. You can't sack me. Who are you egging me on? Oh, it's my fault now, is it? I didn't mean that. I just meant that if... Of course you're not sacked. It's a wind-up. You lousy rotten. I've got a good matter to tell you. Stick your job now. But you won't. Look, I have to be seen to do something for her sake. Quite tasty for an older woman, though, don't you think? I'm all for enjoying the perks of the job, but, Jason, mate, take my advice. Not on your own doorstep. First rule, that is. Yeah, right. Hey, and you might be off the hook with me and her. I wouldn't trust her not to blab to Candice about what you did. <laughs>